Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today we will discuss about the latest modification of the Russian Panzer air defense system. The testing of the new modification of the anti-aircraft missile and gun system, Panzer SMSV is nearing completion, demonstrating its compliance with the Russian Ministry of Defense requirements. TASS news agency on January 2nd reported, quoting the state corporation Rostec, that the Panzer SMSV is intended to provide cover for the Russian ground forces. It is characterized by being mounted on a new tracked chassis. This chassis will allow the system to accompany and cover air defense systems as they move through snow and rugged terrain. Furthermore, it has two types of guided anti-aircraft missiles and a larger engagement zone. Introducing the Panzer SMSV into service will greatly improve air defense capabilities at low altitudes and in the closing zone. In August 2023, Frontier India reported that adapting the Panzer SMSV anti-aircraft missile gun system for the ground forces necessitates using two unique guided anti-aircraft missile types and an enhanced engagement range. The combat vehicle's anti-aircraft gunner crew might use already available manpad systems like IGLA, IGLA-S, and Verba, as well as the anticipated next-generation manpads called Metka. Furthermore, the modern Titsilov surface-to-air missile SAM, system consists of two unique missile types that use different guiding techniques, infrared homing and laser guidance. Now, let's understand what is Panzer SAM. The Panzer SM sets itself apart from other air defense missile systems in its family by incorporating a new radar system with integrated active electronically scanned array ASA, technology. As a result, the system's ability to detect and track targets has substantially improved. The system begins to engage targets practically at ground level. Automatic cannons and guided missiles with radio command guidance and infrared and radar tracking offer air defense. The Panzer's multi-channel target acquisition and tracking system is one of its distinguishing features, along with missile and artillery armament. This means that the same system controls both missile and gun firing. The gun armament comprises four 30mm automatic rapid-fire guns, the 2A38M. The overall firing rate is 5,000 rounds per minute, with a cartridge capacity of 1,400 rounds. The new radar allows the Panzer to identify potentially harmful threats from up to 75 kilometers. In addition, the designers increased the range of engaging air targets to 30 to 40 kilometers, up from 15 to 20 kilometers in the original model. The Panzer's firepower has also increased. The initial air defense missile system had 12 ready-to-fire missiles, but the SM type can carry up to 18 missiles. Furthermore, the variety of munitions utilized has been enhanced. The SM model's most intriguing innovation is the so-called nails, which are small-caliber missiles meant to destroy unmanned aerial vehicles (UAVs). The newly developed missiles are distinguished by their small size and comparatively low production costs. Each anti-UAV installation comprises four missiles. Thus, if the Panzer is only armed with anti-UAV missiles, the total number of missiles on combat duty will be 72. The Panzer complex was first presented in the 1990s and has progressed significantly since then. The new AASM was developed in 1994. The armament system was officially unveiled during the MAKS 1995 exhibition. The trials of the Army model Panzer S-1 began in 2006. Two years later, the Russian army inducted the air defense system. However, progress continues, and the Panzer has received two important upgrades since then. The first time was in 2015 when the S-2 model debuted. The system underwent another update and acquired the SM index a year later. The latest Panzer variants have recently begun to see widespread deployment in combat. Last year, the official spokesperson for high-precision complexes JSC, which is in charge of developing missile systems for the Russian air defense system, reported the successful development and integration of hypersonic anti-aircraft interceptor missiles into the Panzer system. When maneuvering in the air, these missiles have incredible speed at their disposal. According to the manufacturers, the upgraded version of Panzer demonstrates a rate of effectiveness of 100% when it is used to counter the HIMARS MLRS. The arsenal of HIMARS includes a wide variety of missiles, each of which may travel at a different speed and a varied range. In addition, the system's capability of successfully intercepting missiles like Storm Shadow and Scalp EG has been significantly enhanced. However, it is essential to note that the effectiveness of the Panzer SM in fighting HIMARS missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, is contingent upon several conditions. 
The Panzer SM positioning is important as it provides the greatest possible airspace coverage. Because of this, it will be able to identify HIMARS missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles on time. The adversaries, UAVs and HIMARS missiles may be equipped with Electronic Countermeasures ECM, making detecting and intercepting these targets more difficult. The ECM capabilities of the Panzer SM are designed to counter the enemy's ECM capabilities. The ability of the Panzer SM to detect, identify, and intercept targets promptly depends on the professionalism of its crew. The system takes five minutes to deploy and is managed by just three personnel. Do you think Panzer is the air defense Swiss knife? And if you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.